What's up guys, Dalton Smith from MPI Productions and today we're going to be doing an unboxing with two slide handboard models, the Wedge and the Bula. We're going to show you what it looks like when you get it out of the box and basically just how to get started and get ready to get in the water. We're going to be doing a lot of videos this year with slide handboards, doing in-depth breakdowns on trick tips, how to use the boards in different breaks, comparisons between the two boards, but we wanted to get started with something simple that just shows you what your boards are going to look like when you get them and just basic setup so you can get started as you know, quickly as possible. So when you receive your slide hand boards, you're going to have boxes just like these. They're well packaged to make sure that nothing happens to the board while it's in the shipping route. When you open up, got some covering paper, and then you're going to find your slide hand board. So you get two things inside. One is basically just a thank you card from Slide Handboards welcoming you to the family and shows you how you can go check out YouTube videos like this, their Instagram page, and all that other cool stuff. You also have a business card for Angela, so if you ever have any trouble, she's gonna help you out, give her a shout. So the first board we're gonna be unboxing is the Bula design by Slide Hand Boards. This is a new design and vastly different from the Wedge, which we'll jump into. And basically, you're gonna see a huge difference in the size, but there's also a nice concave on the bottom that allows you to drive on the face of the wave. Uh, to make it short and sweet, this is a really good board for big beach breaks and just you know thick, steep barrels. What we're gonna do is just open up the top. So here we have the Bula design. I'm gonna show you right there that curvature that we were talking about. That is going to be game changing when it comes to big barrels. So to get started, let's talk about what hand are we putting it on. I am right handed, but I put it on my left hand. And the reason for that is I feel more comfortable paddling with my right hand. That's my strong arm. It allows me to catch the wave better. But I honestly switch it back and forth sometimes. If I'm going on a bunch of rights, sometimes it's more natural to have your right hand while you're going right and then your left hand while you're going left. So there's no real proper way. And again, you do not need to get yourself one slide hand board test your different hands and see what feels better and you're good to go. Next we're going to talk about the hand strap. It's really important that you don't over tighten and it's important that you don't under tighten as well. We got two straps. We're going to pull the first back, pull the second back and that's just going to give us, you know, free movement. Drop your hand in there and take the first one and get it pretty snug. Like, you know, you want it to stay in there but you don't want to cut your circulation off. Come with the second one and that's just going to be your secure strap to make sure nothing moves and you're good to go. So a couple other things you're going to notice on the board is a mount on the nose and a mount on the tail. So the top mount is going to be to put a GoPro on your board. The bottom mount is to put a leash on your board. The only other thing you're going to need is a pair of fins. If you visit the Slide Handboards website, you'll see that they have some fins on there that they carry. To mount your GoPro on the board, you only really have one option for the Bula because it has that curvature. There's adhesive mounts, but they don't work on this board. So what you need to do is go get yourself the surfboard mount kit by GoPro. So when you open this up, you're gonna have a bunch of different mounts and I'm gonna show you what is what. The first one is your standard surfboard mount. And again, we can use this, but we can only use it on the wedge because the Bula has that curve. So we'll put that to the side. So both of these are leash anchors and you tie a string to this so if it does break off for whatever reason on here, you've got a backup. Next, we've got the leashes. These are gonna be what connects your GoPro to the anchor. This is the magical piece that you need. This is a GoPro FCS fin plug mount. So on the nose of the board, this is where we were talking about mounting the GoPro. You're gonna see a small screw in here you're gonna need a FCS fin key or an Allen key. I don't have a fin key today, so I'm gonna get my Allen key, unscrew this a little bit, and you just wanna watch down in here until you get some clearing. So once your screw is out enough to where it's still in, but it's clear of the opening, we're gonna take our FCS fin plug mount. I prefer to put the bolt on the left side so I can put the screw in from the right side. We're gonna take it, drop it down in there, so these things are a bit snug, but you need to make sure that it's all the way down and flush on all sides. This is gonna make sure that it's not going anywhere. So now that it's flush, we're gonna take the Allen key and crank this thing all the way down, basically until it stops spinning. So now that we've got it all the way in there, this thing is iron, it's not going anywhere. So now that we've got the mount and the board, we need to get the GoPro on the mount. And basically, we're gonna take our GoPro, slide it down in there, 
get our screw, come from the right side. And I've got these high torque screws that have a you know, little lever on it almost, and it allows you to really get in there and crank it down. So now that we've got it on there, tilt it back a little bit, and that's gonna give you a killer shot looking back at you as the barrel's going over your head. It's gonna get everything. What you can also do is take this out and turn it around and get shots looking out of the barrel, which are really cool as well. So that's basically all there is for the Bula, so let's go ahead and jump into the wedge now. So same thing for the wedge, gonna have a little bit bigger box this time, and it's gonna be covered with the tissue. And then we've got our box. So this is the wedge, it's a little bit bigger board as I mentioned, and I would say that this is the all around board. The first thing you're gonna notice is probably the size difference. It is a lot bigger than the Bula. Here they are side by side. And the next thing you're gonna notice is that lack of curvature like we have on the Bula. This is a basically flat bottom. We don't have any concave, but we do have this nice wedgy fish design. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give us more uplift and more drive. So we're gonna be able to ride this thing for hundreds of yards. If you've got a point break or just you know a nice day that's not heaving barrels, this is going to allow you to just continue to use the wave for as long as you could possibly ride it. We have the same setup on this board as far as your leash. You're gonna pull your first one back, pull your second strap back. That's gonna loosen you up and allow you to you know make adjustments as you need to. Tighten it down, throw your extra strap over, it's not going anywhere. But the difference here is we have flat surfaces. So that's going to allow us to do some really cool stuff with the GoPro mounts. What I'm going to do is take this surfboard mount and place it on the back of the board, which is gonna make this really cool angle that looks over my hand and out the barrel. So after I cleaned off the surface, I took the adhesive mount and put it to the right side of the logo. You don't want it in the center because that's where your arm's gonna be. So when you stick it to the board, make sure that you have these two rails in the center piece pointed straight towards the nose. You don't wanna have it cockeyed either direction, so take your time and make sure it's nice and straight. We're gonna take this GoPro slide mount and come from the front and click it down and make sure it's all the way in. Once it's all the way clicked in, you're gonna see that you can basically squeeze and push to get this back out. Next, we're gonna get our GoPro, drop it in, point it towards the nose, get our screw, and tighten this thing down. So what this is gonna do is give us a really unique angle. I've done a lot of stuff with the GoPros and the slide hand boards, but I found that this was one of my favorites. It's gonna allow you to look over the hand, over the nose of the board, and show you driving through the barrel, which I think is such a cool shot. So that's basically all we need to know about mounting the GoPro to the boards. Again, we have two options, which is gonna be the FCS fin plug in the front, and then we can put the surf adhesive mount on the rear of the wedge only due to the shape of the Bula. So once you've got your hand strap adjusted, your GoPro mounted, all we need to do is put the leash on the tail end of the board. We're gonna take these two strings, make them the same length, and we're gonna come into this slot right here and go under the bar and out the other side. We're gonna take both strings, come around the bottom, around the top, and then feed it through. Next, make sure everything is flush and tighten down. And what you wanna do is grab this knot and pull down against the knot. Make sure you've got, you know, a one to two inch tail right here, but you don't want anything longer than that because if it's longer, it's gonna be coming over here, getting in front of your GoPro and slapping you in the arm and it's just not gonna help your cause. So now we've got it tied down to the board and we need to put it on our arm. If I'm using my left hand for the board, I'm gonna put the leash on my left arm. You don't need this thing coming across your chest and again, it's gonna come across the front of the GoPro. So if you put it on your left hand, left arm, right hand, right arm. Go ahead and loosen it up. I like to put the blue tab on the outside, bring it up just above your bicep in that pocket, tighten it down, bring it all the way around the back, and now you're secure. To take the leash off, we're just gonna grab the blue tab, loosen it up, it comes right off. So the last thing we're gonna talk about today is this carrying case that Slide makes for your boards. I really recommend buying one. They are sold separately, but what this is gonna do is allow you to carry it over your shoulder or even in your hand down to the beach. And most importantly, it's gonna protect it. We'll go ahead and open this thing up. It's got a nice zipper. You've got a pocket on the inside where you can put wax or fin keys or GoPro mounts, whatever you need, you can store in there. 
So to get the board in the bag, we're gonna let the leash hang out the back, take the nose, jam it down inside, make sure that the handle's clear, get your leash, tuck it off to the side, bring the top back over, and zip it up. So that's it guys, we've got our board wrapped up, it's safe, we can carry it easier. We showed you how to put the GoPro mounts on, how to adjust your hand strap, and basically get your board out of the box and get in the water as soon as possible. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. We're going to keep these going with trick tips, tutorials, and everything you need to get the most out of your slide hand board. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.